<laughs> hey guys! It's October! And you know what that means. It's Halloween. Halloween! And we're here at the Main Street Theater in Midvale. And our first spooktacular episode revolves around the Rocky Horror Picture Show! Have you ever done the time warp? Think it's easy being in a musical? Let's go find out. Hey guys, what's going on? We're here with Brian and Sean, the directors of... Rocky Horror Picture Show. Without the picture. Without the picture. Yeah. Rocky <laughs> Horror Show? Yeah. Rocky Horror Rocky Show. The picture is the movie. Gotcha. Rocky Horror. Rocky is the Horror Show. Version. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We're here with Ryan and Sean, the director and assistant director of the Rocky Horror Show. How long have you guys been putting this production together? Um, well, they asked us a year ago to, to direct and assistant direct, and he also designed the set. Um, we cast the show end of July, mm -hmm. and then we've been working since the beginning of August, mm -hmm. So, and we open up in less than a week. It's been a non-stop kind of a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that Rocky Horror is like a worldwide phenomenon. Yes. What got you guys involved in this show specifically? Because I know a lot of people treat this as like a big family. Mm -hmm. um, well, originally we did the show here three years ago and we kind of were in the same roles and the owner decided that it was something she really wanted to bring back and yeah. so she didn't even ask us she just was like um i'm doing the show by the way and you'll be here <laughs> this <laughs> is your job yeah took a lot she, we of didn't even get to say no or anything yeah. <laughs> she's like oh, yeah. uh, okay it took a lot of convincing the first time we did it yeah because she was very uns sure about it and like how it would like play in Utah. Yeah, but, I was just gonna ask about yeah. that. Have you guys run into any roadblocks because mm -hmm. of... No, absolutely no. not. We no. sell out every night. That's so fantastic. Get your tickets. <laughs> I did, um, I've been involved in the theater for like, a, like 13 years of yeah. my life. I've mm -hmm. never done this show, but I know that rehearsals must be crazy long and a lot of very, very tall shoes. <laughs> what is that like for you and there, actors? This show is a different beast, whereas like other shows you're like, all right, we're gonna do this number and then this scene and then this, like this show is like one long 30 minute scene with six dance numbers in it and we just gotta like, all right, well, let's just uh, figure it out and shove this in. But <laughs> it, it's built so differently and, and when all is said and done, the whole show is 90 minutes. Wow. It's so wow. short, but you put so much into these like, it, and you know, and everyone just staying in character and mm -hmm. and having to like watch the show the end like for 20 minutes just stand there and watch the show but you have to look like you're interested and mm -hmm. and all this stuff and and trying to not kill our frankenfurter who mm -hmm. um you know you saw his energy yeah He's out of this world yeah absolutely so like, along He's with the rest of our our leads and our ensemble and everything like everyone's been working so far. I, kind of Ryan, sucked Sean, in. I have to ask you for yeah. and you guys are gonna hate me for no, this okay um, for those of us who don't know, tell us about the Rocky Horror Show. Okay, so, <laughs> low down, Richard O'Brien, the writer, um, wrote this show. He was an actor in London and had been in shows and been fired from shows, and he was very frustrated with theater community, and someone asked him to be in a show at the Royal Court Theater, which is a big theater, but there was a little theater upstairs that seats 90 people, and he said, you know, I've been really frustrated. I've been writing this show out of just to get my stress out, and I will be in your show, but you need to let me use your little theater upstairs and put on a show for three weeks. And he wrote the show, and it opened in this little place, and ran for nine years. Wow. I moved wow. out of the little space, obviously, but it just it got such big reaction, and. The movie was made, and the uh, the movie, movie was a flop. Movie was a flop. It was a major flop, and it was, but it caught on with people, and then they started doing these midnight showings, and and then people were realizing that oh, this is a movie, but then you could do it as a play, and and then they did a revival on Broadway, and it kind of brought it back, and so and like it exploded. Now. Yeah, and so like <laughs> that's the, the cult classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and 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 it's based off of. It's such a weird concept, but it's like the 1950s and 60s B horror movies. And we have them all referenced. Yeah, we have a bunch referenced up, up on the, the wall. Set. But um, he took all these things, but then he took all these 
fetishes and, and sex icons that he loved and dancers and things like that and he built them into the idea of a show not necessarily like these specific people but just the way that they made him feel and how he could like build a perfect man and and it's just it's such a weird bizarre juxtaposition of of 50s rock and and all these weird sci different things sci-fi and and Everything. but it, it all seems to work and i think people come see the show halfway through they don't they're like what the f am i watching and by the <laughs> time i don't know it. but by the time they leave they're like i don't know what i just watched but that was fantastic and it was hilarious and the music was great and it was just a, a whole yeah. lot of fun and that's the show the show's yeah. just fun just don't pay attention too closely because you won't know what's going on <laughs> So we thoroughly enjoyed watching your guys' rehearsals and your actors are very, very captivating. What are the dates of your show so that people can come and see them? Uh, funny enough, we open today, October 5th, and we run through <laughs> October 21st. We are at the Midvale Main Street Theater. Tickets can be bought at midvaletheater.com. And um, 20 bucks, I mean, where are you gonna get? And 20? we have a bar. And we have a full bar. Oh, so wow. I mean, like, say no more. <laughs> you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay more to go through a haunted house, and yeah, absolutely. may not have the best experience because of all the people you have to deal with. Pay twenty bucks here, get drunk, <laughs> enjoy a show, enjoy a, enjoy a show for Halloween. Sounds like a plan. Or just enjoy a show. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. So what can uh, we do to be a part of your show today? Well, I guess um, the most iconic song from the show, outside of Sweet Transvestite, is the Time War. So maybe we can teach you a few steps from Time Warp and see if you can catch up with the cast. I have two left feet though. <laughs> well, it's a very simple. It's, it's not too hard. Dance. We promise. We promise. I think, I think the, the lyrics are instructions. So I think, yep, we, yep. Well, I think we might be okay. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, we'll do our best. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> let's do it. Cool. So hey guys, we're here with the choreographer now of the of everything of the show. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm Alex, I'm the choreographer and I'm also playing Janet. I'm Danny and I'm playing Riff Raff. So let's teach you a couple counts of eight. See how you do? So okay, we're going to learn some up. time warp, right? right. Everybody's got to know it. the time warp. Let's okay. do it. Okay, do so, it again. So you'll step, let's do the time warp again. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Try out Sure, here we go. Five, okay. Six, seven, eight. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, stepping to the left. It's just a step to the left. Jump, jump step. to the left. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't have to do this in this show. I don't actually do this. It's a jump to the left and then a step to the right. <laughs> now you put your lap, your B on here in the middle. Put your there. hands on your hips. Put your hands on your hips. Perfect. Bring your knees in nice and tight. I guess we're gonna do the second one, the third one. That works. <laughs> and then it's the pelvic thrust that really drives you insane. And then you jump to the left. Let's do jump to the other side. The time warp, and you do your hips again. <laughs> time warp, very nice. Very nice. Yay. Pretty good. Yay! Yay! Do the time warp again. So I'm playing Riff Raff in the show. Um, he is one of the servants of Dr. Frankenfurter. Uh, he's Magenta's little brother. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty fun part. I really love the gal playing Magenta. We have a, some great chemistry on stage. And uh, probably one of my favorite parts about this show is the cast, because we have a really great cast and we're having a really good time. So. So I played Magenta, and my favorite part about the production, honestly, it's probably watching the rest of the cast. I probably get a lot more distracted than I should, because <laughs> they're extremely talented. But the whole the whole uh, show has just been so much fun, and a character I haven't played before, so it's really been it's been challenging, and it's just been a lot of fun. What's your favorite part of this production? Dancing. I love the dancing and it really challenges me. Cool. Oh. My 
favorite part of the production is just seeing it all come together. I'm actually the choreographer of the show as well, so it's fun to like start with dance rehearsals and then music, and then we kind of costumes and seeing everything come together. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys, you guys look like you're having fun. Awesome. We do. Cool. <laughs> So I play Brad Majors and my favorite part of the production um, has got to be floor show at the end. It's a lot of fun. Um, so I don't want to say it's touch a touch me, but like it really is though. <laughs> um, but also I just love everybody in the show and just um, being with, I, I came in very, very late. They had already been working for two months by the time I came in, and I felt immediately welcomed and a part of everything, and so I guess that that's my favorite part, but Touch a Touch Me is a close second. It's amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's so dreamy. My favorite, oh, it's a hard question. Um, honestly, after Eddie, I die, so like, my, my first song is a lot of fun. It's really, really hard. It's very kind of painstaking on the voice, but um, it's, it's honestly a great time just to be able to like run around and kind of have fun with it. Um, Dr. Scott is the most comedic release of this entire show, even though like the entire show is hilarious and it's really fun. Um, Dr. Scott is like that, that German racist that everyone loves to hate. <laughs> so, um, which is like in the second act, I come back as him, because I die as Eddie, come back as Dr. Scott. So it's playing, it's cool playing two characters. I'm like the only like, costume change. So, um, but yeah, like, Honestly, honestly, it's a great show. <laughs> like I, I, like, I wanted these two parts when I auditioned, so like, I'm getting it. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, playing Rocky, uh, my favorite part is that uh, I get to work with some amazing people. Uh, this is my first time in musical theater, um, and so it's yeah, I get amazing people like Danny to learn from and to work with. So what uh, character are you playing today? I'm playing Frankenfurter. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And what's your favorite part of this production? Frankenfurter. <laughs> Just being Frankenfurter and playing Frankenfurter. Getting to wear all of this or lack of clothing, period, honestly. <laughs> you do a great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So I play the criminologist slash narrator for the show. Um, my favorite part about the whole production is how close the cast is. Um, I've never really experienced this kind of uh, bond with everyone. Immediately, first day, we all just became friends. Uh, when we come into a rehearsal, we hug everyone. It's, it's just incredible, the bond that we've made. So I really enjoy that part of the production. And the show itself, I fall in love with it. Um, it's just a really fun all together. Uh, the Transylvanians, Phantoms, Ensemble, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my favorite part of this show is how sexual we are. I think it's fun. I'm a dirty person though. So, whatever. <laughs> So I play the role of Columbia, but I'm so sick right now that the director's not letting me um, perform. And my favorite thing about this cast and this show is just um, how close we've all gotten and just going out to dinner after rehearsal sometimes, just being a family who loves each other. Uh, my name is Todd McRae and I am a Transylvanian in Rocky Horror. Uh, my favorite part is definitely the time warp. It's so iconic and it's just transcended through every, all walks of life, all, all the different shows. And the dance stays the same and it's something that everybody can bond over in the show. And I just think it's, it's fantastic. All right guys, if you like what you saw here today, make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I mean, it's free. Right? It is free. It's free. It's free. Do Might it. as well. Why, why not? Do just it. do it. Just do it. Just for us. Just do it. Do it. We're totally. Yeah. Just do it. Like you. Swoosh. <laughs> Swoosh. I am tired. This is getting weird. <laughs> this is getting, this is getting so super weird. weird. Yeah. A little weird. Yay. Think it's easy? Think it's easy? Being Mega Bobby? 
Oh man, that's the musical theater is no joke, guys. Dancing will take a lot out of you. It really does. These it makes you want to learn how to dance, like for real, in the future. Yeah, these guys are troopers. I bet we could figure something out. We can learn how to dance. Perfect. Eventually. Gosh, now that it's October, though, what are we gonna do? We gotta do Halloween stuff. I have the perfect idea. Hey, as long as it, as long as it has nothing to do with ghosts or zombies, I'm cool. Oh, it won't. Let's go.